wait! You must be lonely here by yourself. Faye. 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 Are you awake? Ellie fights with a rod. Pilot uniform, ether stone, ether defense. Path up, watch the cliffs. We go up the cliffs. run into any battles. Oh, they don't want to fight me now. All of a sudden. Learn death blows, even, uh, even if we can't actually use them until a certain level. So, I mean, we can't technically learn them, but we can get to a point where as soon as we're that level, we, we will have learned them. We already got another weapon for her? Huh. Strange. Hug on. Learn skills. Screamer is already at 100, so as soon as she levels up, she'll be able to learn that. a bird down with lightning.
Faye? Yesterday you said your life was worthless. What did you mean by that? Why are you asking? Why? Yesterday you looked like you had a death wish. You think it wouldn't make me wonder? Say, how did you get stranded in this forest in the first place? I should ask you the same question. Huh? Well, I, uh... I ran away from my village. Or what's left of it. Village? You don't mean... Lahan. It was a small village that existed between this forest and the mountain range. I ran away from there. That village? It was a nice, peaceful village. Everyone there treated me like family. Then, last night, a group of gear suddenly appeared and started fighting right in the middle of the place. The village was engulfed in flames. I couldn't just stand there and watch Lahan be destroyed. So, to try and save the villagers, I got in an empty gear, without even knowing how to operate it. I just thought maybe I could do it. No. It was more like someone whispering to me. Someone whispering to me, telling me to do it. But it was a disaster. The village... Was it destroyed by the Kislev army? Faye? No. The village was, was destroyed by me. Yes, it was me. I destroyed Lahan. I'm sure of it. What do you mean you destroyed it? I thought you were trying to help save the villagers. I did try to help. I actually took out a few gears. But then, I came under heavy fire from a new group of gears. And then, my friend, Timothy, was hit by a hail of bullets. Then I lost it. Everything just went dark. I don't remember anything after that. The gear I was in went out of control. Well, that's what Doc said. When I came to, the village and everyone in it was... Alice. She was such a... Alice and Timothy. Oh god. Everybody. All such good people. Went out of control? The gear? What about the village? They? Yes, the gear. Damn them. They're still giving chase. We've entered Ava territory. I'm not giving up now. This gear is too important. That's done it. I'm at a disadvantage now. Van Uten, what's wrong? Respond. Sh shrapnel I in my back. My thruster's output is dropping. I can't maintain altitude. Damn it. Everyone land now. Regroup on the ground. We'll have to engage them. If they had never come to this village, never started fighting there, then I wouldn't have tried to pilot that gear. It's all their fault, not mine. They're the ones to blame. If they'd never come, none of this would have... If not for them. 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 Enough of that. You're a coward. A coward? Me? Yes, you're a coward. All you're saying is them, them, them. Don't talk as if you had no part of the blame as well. I'm to blame? Yes, that's right. Of course the direct cause of the battle was that gear made an emergency landing in your village. But all Kislev wanted was the gear, right? They weren't invading or out to destroy Lahan. The real damage occurred because you climbed into a gear and tried to fight back. Whatever made you get into that gear? Not just anyone can pilot them. It takes training. There is no way a civilian could hope to pilot one. Besides, you should have been helping the villagers flee to safety instead. 
How can you blame the damage on a gear when it was your decision to fight in it in the first place? Why don't you take some of the responsibility yourself? Why are you putting all the blame on others? That's just running away. That's what makes you a coward. Well, if you put it that way, yes, that's right. I am a coward. I didn't realize my own strength and have been blaming what happened as a result of that on others. I'm a pitiful excuse for a man, but I just felt this rush of blood in me and I couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself or help others. Faye, I... I'm... Shut up! What do you know? When I came to, I was surrounded by piles of rubble. I didn't know what had happened or what I had done. I rem remembered absolutely nothing. All I knew was that my hands could still feel what they had done. The only things that penetrated the gear's barrier were screams. Screams accompanied by the stench of blood, the sound of crushing bones, and my own curses. Look! Look at my hands! Can you hear their voices? Can you understand this feeling? The feeling of having destroyed your village with your own hands? Of not being able to do anything for the children left behind? No, they have nothing. I have nothing. I have nowhere. No one. I didn't want to get in it. I had no choice. There was no other way. Why did I go and say that to him? You talk as if it's not your responsibility. No. I didn't do anything. They died because you had to pilot the gear and start fighting. It wasn't me, can't you understand? Not just anyone can pilot those machines, you know. I didn't do it. Why won't you take responsibility? I'm not so strong. Why are you trying to put the blame on others? I'm not even all that talented. You're a coward! That's right. I'm a coward. You gotta love the lip-syncing. Yes, that's right. I am a coward. Oh no! Ellie! Ellie, are you alright? She's unconscious. Darn.
Hey! Hey, I've been searching for you. Here, you can use this. Hey, hold on a second. To tell me I can use it is one thing. Ellie, damn it. Doc, I have a favor to ask. I will defeat this monster. But if it looks like I'll go out of control like last time, then shoot me. He doesn't have a gun. He carries a sword. Faye, let us pray that that won't happen. charge and replenish some of your fuel like that. Is that defense too in this game? I don't think it is. I don't think I need to use booster. Just die already. Faye, are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. That fight with the Rancar was remarkable. An ordinary gear could not defeat that monster, and you certainly keep yourself in good shape. So what I'm saying, Faye, is that you have a tight bod. Why did you bring this here, Doc? This? You mean Veltal? Veltal? This is the gear that destroyed our village. Why did you bother bringing it here? I never want to see another gear again. Well, this game is called Xenogears, so I don't think that's gonna happen. I understand how you must feel. But in order to protect yourself, you need a certain degree of strength. Even more since we are being pursued. I agree that a certain degree of strength is needed for self-defense. And if it weren't for this gear him here, Ellie and I'd be in that Rancor's stomach right now. But its power goes beyond what is necessary. Does one really need the power to destroy everything? I don't need that kind of power. I just hate gears. Faye, using power or being used by power, is that not a problem of the heart? If humans do not use their power for wrong, it could be a good thing. I believe such power can help us. In that respect, I know you will be fine. It sure helped you out this time. Am I right? I want to believe that, but something is holding me back. This gear... Well, whatever. At least Ellie is safe now. She seems to have come too. Huh? I'm Sitan, a friend of Faye's. You almost did not make it if Faye had not have helped you. Had not have helped you, I hate to think what may have happened. 
but I was not too pleased with his rashness in trying to take on that Rancar with just his bare fists. Bare fists? Well, I'm glad that you were able to find a use for what I brought you. Let us just say we are borrowing what the Kislev M army left behind. Uh, oh. Thank you, Faye. This makes twice. Don't mention it. I'll just put it on your tab. It is getting dark. Let us make camp now and start out early tomorrow. The both of you look tired and I need to make some repairs on our friend here. Hey, Zitan, how come you know how to, um, repair gears? Don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It is no use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Oh, having trouble sleeping there? Yeah. I imagine you would. You have had quite a day. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Nil Beardar's Legis. It was yours, right? Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear that made an emergency landing in Lahan. And the mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest are actually one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say you are with the military. Am I correct? How... who are you? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack on Lahan. The design on their tags and the design on your uniform there is the same. Do not worry, they were given proper burials. But they may not have had been too pleased to die in a foreign land. Maybe. Does Fay know about you? I don't think he's realized yet. Most likely, Fay knows nothing of the world outside of Lahan. I see. So, how come... In any case, it is best if we do not pry into each other's pasts anymore. But... Let us just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. Anyway, Ellie, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead, and you will come to a road. Then just keep going. Would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? Unfortunately, things keep happening around Faye. I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in any vain struggles. I'm also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you do not belong here. Go back to your family. Um, I... Do not worry. I will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will just tell him you went to meet up with your family. No, it's not that. I did something terrible to him. So, I want to apologize. Something terrible? Faye told me it was our fault your village was destroyed. Faye kept saying, if only they hadn't come. Then, I called Faye a coward, because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But in fact, it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crash-landed there, we would all still be living peacefully now. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy. But I accused Faye. You are a rarity. I did not expect your people would ever think like that. To your people, surface dwellers are nothing more than domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherds, able to control over the surface dwelling lambs. Possessing the right to give life and death unto them as they see fit. Exactly. Yet you seem to feel responsibility towards Faye and the villagers. Why is that? I don't know myself. At Jugend, I was taught that surface dwellers were stupid and base. And that is why we have to control them, but... But upon meeting Faye, something about him made you feel differently? Yes. He's no different than we are. In fact, he seemed more powerful. He possesses something. Something we don't. 
He also risked his life to save me, twice. Most of your people would feel ashamed at receiving such an act. Yet you are grateful to Faye. It's probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller. No one knew about her, though. Besides, I'm the same as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. Hmm, I think I understand. I'm sorry. After just saying we should not pry. It is my nature, you know. My wife says I am too persistent and that I talk too much. You do. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. You talk too much, Seton. It is probably best if you return home to your country. You really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters. But then what? You are worried? Yes. Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once too, you know? What? Y you don't worry anymore? Ever? Oh, Satan. Anyway, let me handle what to tell Faye. You had better go now. Is Ellie gone yet? Oh, so you were awake. Yes, I woke up midway, so I only heard part of what you two were discussing. Ellie. So that's what she is. Faye, she is... I know. It's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how is everyone from the village going? Do not worry. Yui is taking care of them. I told her to leave soon and take them all to a certain place. They should be safe for a while, so you just worry about yourself for now. Okay, Doc. Now, to think what we should do next. Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of Dazel? We may learn what Ava and Kislev are up to, not to mention getting some parts for Veltal. The leader of Ava is not going to sit back and let the other knight knight's fiasco go by unpunished. What is that? I would assume it is an aerial battleship from Ava. An aerial battleship? I've never heard of Ava having anything like that. Of course it does not come from Ava originally. Most likely it belongs to the Gebler forces stationed in Ava. Gebler? Special forces from the sacred empire of Solaris known as Gebler. I'm sure you have heard something about them. They are an organization providing large-scale military aid to the kingdom of Ava. They showed up in Ignis several months ago. Until then, Ava was being routed by Kislev. But with Gebler's help, they have managed to regain half their losses. Half their loses. They are now expanding their territory and gathering resources buried in the ruins. I've heard that the village elders talk about it. Is Ellie a part of that? Quite possibly so. Their group has superior technology and power. It is rumored they are here solely to get the resources in the ruins. I'm surprised they are using something as powerful as that ship. It must be to suppress the recent border skirmishes. So, they are fighting the Kislev Empire. Yes. It seems they have found new ruins on the northern edge of Ava. Those ruins are under a 500-year-old temple. Three weeks ago, Kislev took over these ruins. Most likely, they are fighting over that. We can just go.
Glasses. Step shoes. Satan fights barehanded for now. Hey! 